In this session, we're going to be talking about the various colour controls that we have on the console. First things first, we need to turn our lights on so that we can see them on stage. We can do this by going and simply pushing up the faders of the lights we need. Doing that will also select the fixtures, and that's important because that means the console now knows which lights we want to control. Selection happens automatically by pushing up the faders, but you can also change the selection by deselecting or reselecting lights using the channel buttons under the faders. If I go to colour, I have some auto palettes available. You can go and hit the automatically create colour palettes button to create these. Once they're created, you can then jump in and use these quick, easy default colours on your lights. If you see colour palettes in here that are greyed out, that means they are for different fixtures in your show file that aren't currently selected. In the colour palettes window, as well as choosing the default colours, you can use the encoder wheels to go and mix your own colour. So I can dial out the levels of red, and I could increase the levels of blue, for example. These particular lights have six colour controls or colour parameters. To access the additional colours, tap the colour tab again, and that will page you through to access your other colour controls. As well as the palettes, the auto palettes here, and the encoder wheels, we can also use the colour picker. In the colour picker, you can go in on screen and pick whichever colour you would like to. Also in here, this is a multi-touch screen. Have a play with going in and pinching and zooming onto that screen, and watch the colours fan across your lights. Running down the left hand side of this touch screen, you can go and press one of the plus symbols, and load an image in from your USB stick. Doing that will then load in the image, might be a JPEG or a PNG, and you can then pick colours straight from that image. When you choose a colour you're happy with, you can record that colour. To record a custom colour, press the record button, scroll on down, and choose an empty palette to store to. And that's now recorded in with a preview of the colour. To name that colour, press and hold setup and tap it. And you can give it a custom name. On the 24 fader version, you've got a maximum of 48 colour palettes and that doubles to 96 colour palettes on the 48 fader version. So that's the colour picker, and that also includes our image picker options. The next method of colour mixing we've got is mood boards by Lee Filters. Lee Filters have grouped some of their gel colours into moods so that you can very quickly find some colours to apply to your lights. For example, have a scroll through, and maybe you want something that emulates moonlight. Go to Moonlight, and there will be some preset colours that you can use that work well to show that 